This presentation is to support how engineering is involved in demolition. It is assumed that something like demolition may not need engineering, but there is a lot of aspects to consider before and while demolition is taking place. Demolition of a structure is considered a ground-to-earth technique. This is the process of destroying a structure without disturbing the surrounding areas. This is done through the use of equipment, explosives, or manual techniques. There are several pre-planning requirements that need to be put into place prior to beginning on-site demolition. First, a surveying of the site will need to be conducted. Second, a removal of hazardous materials plan will need to be put in place. Third, a preparation and strategy plan will need to be orchestrated. And finally, safety measures will need to be recognized and planned to protect the on-site personnel involved in the demolition. A site survey is the study of inspection of the building to be demoed and its outside surrounding area. There are two types of site surveys. They are building surveys and structural surveys. A building survey consists of record drawings, survey of the building, and identifying hazardous waste in the building and around its surrounding area. The record drawings in a building survey are used to identify the layout and configuration of the building and its adjacent areas. It also contains a layout of the walkways and streets which need to be considered prior to demo. The building survey consists of what materials the building was originally constructed of, current site conditions, and rainwater and erosion considerations. The hazardous waste will need to be identified and removed prior to on-site demolition of a building. A structural survey consists of record drawings, survey items, special structures, investigations, and testing. The record drawings are the layout and floor plan of the existing structure to be demoed. These drawings assist the engineer in important structural aspects of the building and how it will act during the demolition process. The survey items consist of methods of the original construction, the deterioration of existing structural elements, the condition of adjoining structures, and how they will affect, be affected by the demo process. Special structures consist of making sure the data provided is correct, and any modifications that may need to be put in place to assist in a safe demolition process. The investigation and testing is used when there is no structural details available. This consists of on-site measuring and exposing of key structural elements to assist the developing a safe demolition plan. The removal of hazardous waste such as asbestos, lead, and soil contamination is important to be accomplished prior to demolition. This needs to be done by qualified personnel. The preparation and strategy plan consists of detailed plans showing things like building location, topography of site, required ground removal, distances from adjacent buildings, streets, and other structures, floor layouts, and arrangement of the building. It also consists of steps in the demolition process, proposed shoring and temporary supports that may, need, may be needed, and ways debris should be handled and disposed of. Safety measures to consider are assuring on-site workers get the proper training. Also potential dust, chemical, heat stress, and noise exposure. Another thing to consider is having an emergency exit plan in case unexpected events occur. A pre-demolition survey will also need to be developed to identify structural supports connections and any potential weak areas that may present a danger during the actual demolition stages. This is done to prevent an unexpected collapse. The engineer's responsibility is to assure a controlled collapse is achieved. Pre-demolition surveys consist of structural forms and movement joint locations, description of lateral stability and how it is maintained, pre-stress and post-tensioning analysis, Structural defects, cracks, signs of movement, hangers, ties, and the age of the building. 
Once demolition begins, site inspections may be required by an engineer periodically in complex building demolitions to identify unforeseen structural conditions unavailable during the time of the pre-planning stages. Items that may need to be addressed are demolition method revisions or adding temporary support structures. There are two types of demolitions to consider. These are non-explosive and explosive. The non-explosive demolitions consist of sledgehammers, rammers, bulldozers, and wrecking balls. Explosive demolitions involves dynamites and RDX. Explosive demolitions are otherwise known as implosion. This method is used in taller buildings and is the preferred of the two due to its efficiency and precision. It is actually considered safer because it limits on-site personnel to high level exposure. In conclusion, an engineer has many responsibilities with the demolition process of buildings and structures. They use their technique, technical knowledge, plan development, management, and communication skills to add value to all phases of demolition.